Okie dokie. So for this problem, they say which the following is true about f of x equals 4x squared minus 24x plus 77 over 2. First thing we look at is the x squared term, and we ask ourselves whether or not it's positive or negative. In this case, it's a positive 4. 4 is positive, which means the curve should be opening up, which indicates that this curve could not have a max value, but instead we know it will have a minimum value. So any options that say max, we can eliminate. Whoops, okay. We're going to eliminate A. We're going to eliminate option D. So we're between um, options B and C, which both have the x value at 3. So where does that 3 come from? We'll talk about that real quick. So we know that the minimum does occur at the vertex here because that's how parabolas work or quadratics work so the x value of the vertex comes from x value of vertex again comes from the one equation we were using x equals negative b over 2a so we identify what that's going to equal in this case so we say x equals negative b well our b value is negative 24 our a value is a positive 4 so x equals negative b or negative negative 24 um, over 2 times a so 2 times 4 we get a positive 24 over 8 which is 3 so x equals 3 is the um, location of the vertex so how do we actually find the y value where the vertex occurs or where the uh, minimum occurs either one so if we have the x value and we have this function up here, well, all we need to do is plug in this 3 into this function. So I'm going to do it briefly by hand here. f of 3, 4 times x squared, or 4 times 3 squared, minus 24 times 3, plus 77 over 2. Let's talk about 77 over Two real quick just so we don't have to deal with a fraction so 77 divided by 2 we could say 76 divided by 2 is what 38 so we can say 38.5 for that fraction so we can you know eliminate that so keep working this out we get 4 times 9 minus 24 times 3 which is 72 plus now we'll bring in the 38 and we get 36 minus 72 plus 38.5 equals 36 minus 72 is negative 36 plus 38.5 should give us about 2.5 which also is equal to 5 divided by 2 so that tells us that our answer is C because the y value of the vertex or of the minimum is 5 halves. So bring out our eraser. We find out that C is the correct answer.